Hey guys, this is Cameron with Motion Science and I am back with another really quick video. It's been a crazy hectic week for me. So I'm just putting together a very quick video for you to check out this week. This one has to do with 3D cameras and 3D layers again. I've gotten so much feedback about the 3D camera and 3D layer videos that I thought it would be great to expand a little bit more on what I know about those two subjects. And one of those things I want to talk about this week is how to work with a whole lot of 3D layers and not feel out of control with your timeline. And let me show you what I mean. If you look at these two comp windows here, you can see that it's just a bunch of blue squares positioned back in Z, red squares, and green squares. And if I pull up the timeline here, you're going to see that there's 43 layers, 42 layers of solids plus the camera layer. So let me show you my trick. What we're going to do is take all the red solids. We're going to right click and select pre-compose and we'll name it red pre-comp. I'm going to do the same thing with the blue layers. Pre-compose and the same thing with the green layers, right click, pre-compose. So now we have four total layers instead of 43, 44 layers, we have four, a red, a blue and a green pre-comp and a camera. So if I go with my camera tool here and I move side to side, nothing happens, right? Well, if I make these three pre-comps 3D, there they are, and I can move back and forth, but they're treated as like a solid single 3D layer. And we can see that here. So the trick here is to just go into this column right here. It's called collapse transformations. If I just, collapse each one of these, you'll see how they expand out and boom, they are dimensional 3D layers. Go back over here, let me show you, just like that. The other really cool thing about this is that collapse transformations still takes advantage of the lights in 3D space. So I'll add a parallel light. And you can see here, that the light is still affecting the layers. But we're only dealing with three layers instead of 42 layers. So that's my tip for the week. I hope you learned something new. Leave a comment below, let me know what you think. And until next time, I'm Cameron, and this is Motion Science. <laughs>